Good morning, everybody. It is the day before Thanksgiving, and I have got a lot to do. I have got to get my turkey in the brine. Um, and let's see, what else? I gotta make my dressing, gotta make my yams, gotta make my sweet potato pies, gotta make my gravy. Because I, I wanna get up tomorrow and be pretty carefree with the exception of the turkey. And then just warming everything up. So, let's get the turkey into brine. Um, I am pretty sure this is, this brine, I, I look at several different recipes and I write several ones down and I forget to look which one I like the most. And I always change them up a little bit. Um, so, I think this is the Pioneer Woman's brine recipe. One of hers, I think. But anyway, here it is. Well, these are the ingredients we're gonna use. I'm gonna use apple juice or apple cider. I have apple juice because it was cheaper. Um, you're gonna use two gallons of water. So I'm gonna, this says orange juice, but it's water. Um, I'm going to fill that up. Oh, I got to get an ingredient. Sorry, guys. Never. I'm never completely prepared. I'm usually always partially prepared. Uh, okay. So, apple juice water. Rosemary. I'm just going to put this whole pack of rosemary down in. I'm not going to chop it. I'm just going to stick the stems and everything. Five, five cloves of garlic minced. I don't have a garlic press. And so I usually just buy the minced garlic. And I think I'm just going to... These, both, these jars are open. I think I'm just going to use both these jars. What's left? Because it says five cloves. Um... Two cups of brown sugar. This is my brown sugar container, so I'm going to use two cups of brown sugar. A cup and a half of salt. Um, and the peel. Oh, I forgot another ingredient. Peel of three oranges. Um, three tablespoons of peppercorn. I'm just going to use this whole thing of peppercorn. Um, <laughs> I bought it at the store, and I bought it as a grinder and you know the grinder tops don't come off so Isaac bless his sweet little heart has been in here this morning cutting and sawing that lid off so I'm just gonna use the whole thing and bay leaves so you need bay leaves cup and a half of salt that's the main thing you can do anything in your brine as long as you have a liquid and salt and then you can flavor it up pretty much however you want to this is the one we found that um, we just really, really, really like. So, I'm going to use about half of this container of apple juice. Um, I think it calls for like three or four cups. I'm going to eyeball it and see where we're at. I start with the apple juice. Um, I may end up using the whole container. I don't know. It's just on how froggy I feel. So, and I want my bird to be covered. So, I'll add more liquid if my bird's not covered. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put everything in my pot. And y'all look at my pot. Look how big it is. <laughs> that thing is huge. Um, yeah, I put it in there because my turkey's got to be submerged. So I'm going to put all my brine ingredients in there. Bring it, get it hot so everything melts and mixes up. Then I'm going to let it cool completely. It's got to cool completely before I put my turkey in. So, I'm behind getting this started. So, I got to get it going. And then, once I get it hot and it cools down a little bit, I'm going to cover it with temple, set it outside where it's cool. And, um, on the porch. Set it out there to get it to cool down quicker so I can get my turkey in it. It's going to sit till tomorrow when I'm ready to start it. And, like I said, I'm late. I'm like two hours late. It's supposed to brine for 24 hours. It's not going to brine for 24 hours, but um, any little bit is better than none. So what I'm going to do after I get that started, I'm going to get my turkey out and get my giblets out because I got to boil them for giblet gravy. And uh, um, you can get my turkey, you know, make sure there's no, sometimes there's little hairs on your turkeys and chickens. Always lick your chicken and turkey for those little, it's really leftover feather stems and stuff, but get those out because that's, it's not pleasing to the eye. It's 
it's kind of gross actually <laughs> it's very gross um, so and then I got to peel three oranges so y'all I will be back that's all there is to my turkey brine um, I don't know that um, I'll actually video any more on this we'll just wait and see but um, thank you for watching the farming pastor's wife y'all have a great day there it is. The turkey is completely submerged down in the brine. And Isaac is fixing to cover it up and take it out on the porch for me. So that is how you brine your turkey. And just like all my other Thanksgiving recipes, stay tuned. I will put a video on probably the day after Thanksgiving to show you all the finished products. I just had to add this little video um, after we did the turkey brine. I don't think I'll, <laughs> I don't think Isaac realized that my phone was recording. And so I'm going to put this little funny clip at the end of the video so y'all can get a kick out of my son. He's so funny. Love y'all guys. Thank you for watching The Farm and Pastor's Wife. Let me take that aside. What? Dark.